Oop. Hello, everyone. Basically, here, welcome to session negative one, technically, of the stream. We're going to be playing some uh, D and D with some friends. I want to make sure that you actually can hear me right now. I'm trying some different settings on the audio. Please hold. Let's see. I'm trying I, some different settings. Cool. On the audio. I can hear myself. That's good. Um, my players don't hear me right now because it's muted, which I'm glad to see. Um, but we're going to be playing some uh, D&D. &D. Um, we're going to be starting a session negative one, like I said, um, because a couple players couldn't make it for session zero, uh, but people still wanted to play. So we're going to be playing some little goofy side-offs. kind of. Uh, uh, but people wanted to play, so we're going to be playing campaign thing. I don't know. It's going to be canon to the main campaign, but it's not going to be a major part of the story. It's just going to be for fun. We're going to be learning the tool gonna be hanging out and getting to know how we play together as players uh, i'm gonna go ahead and unmute all the friends here all right y'all should be live now but let's see. are we all right oh i could hear you the whole time man oh, we could hear yeah. you the entire time yeah we were kind of giggling and trying to figure out who was gonna yeah. tell you <laughs> oh that's cool um <laughs> Well, it was supposed to. It was supposed to silence it, but apparently not. That's cool. So something else to figure out on stream. But um, these are all the friends. We uh, well, I guess we can go through and have. Uh, maybe we'll um. You guys can do a quick introduction today. How about that for yourselves? And then on session zero, we'll actually do a bit more in-depth introduction with a uh, character motivations or whatever. But. Uh, we can go down the line here. Uh, Rokax, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Trindum, Rokax. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What else do you want me to say? I don't know. Uh, just, I don't know. What you should say? Like, what, what's your plan and uh, if you have any experience oh, yeah. with or whatever. I am a fighter. Um, and I've been playing D&D &D since uh, 3.5. And this is my first time uh, really getting into 5th edition, so it's been a while for me since I played. Rock on. All right, Echo, go ahead. Push the talk. Yeah. <laughs> I need to change it before the stream starts. Oh, my gosh. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is all new to me. I've never played it before. It's just a hobby that I've I've watched and I thought that looks fun. It looks like something I could get into. And I write poems, I'm a writer and used to write and stuff and I like that and I, I like games and I like investigating stuff. Ooh. It just seems like something that I could get into. Um and so yeah, um I want to dip my toes in and see where it takes me. Rock on. Uh, you want to tell us uh, what your character class is? And uh, I guess... Okay, my character... We're, we we're going to be referencing you besides your character. Okay. My character class is High Elf, and uh, she is mostly... Uh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> see? New. <laughs> uh, she's mostly... Yeah, she mostly a well, warlock, and um, she she's um, God, I forgot all the questions now. Been completely thrown off by getting the first one wrong. Uh, right, <laughs> uh, right. Anyways, um, I am known as Miss Creation. Um, I I've just um, started streaming and getting back into stuff again. Um, being a parent, don't have a lot of time. Uh, the lockdown has given me a lot more time. So I thought I'd get back into it. And being someone that's creative, I just get bored. So I need a lot a lot to do, and my mind is always working overtime. Um, so you can find me um, my on uh, twitch.com forward slash miscreation with an X instead of an O um, down below. And yeah <laughs> i'm sorry that's a really rubbish but there you go that, that that's what it is <laughs> cool all right lushu 
Yes. Yeah. All right, then. So some of you people might already know me. It is your boy, Serial Gamer TV. And yes, we are here with something different. Some D and D. Um, same as uh, miscreation. I'm new to it also, but it is something I've been interested in for quite a while. Just never really had people who wanted to play it with me. Um, I never really met anyone willing to like teach me either. And Basif's been really, really good at that. He's been patient. <laughs> um, what the hell is professional standards? What the hell is this? Those were, those were not. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I go, wait, what? what? <laughs> Interrupting me like that. <laughs> but no, so um, anyway, so uh, my character's name is Lushu. He is um, an Elderin elf. Um, a bit of a background for him. He's got a very heavy criminal background. Um, when he was younger, oh, I say younger, he's over 100 years old already, but that is still young in Elf. We're not going to do a full intro uh, for background stuff. We're going to do that next week when we actually okay. get everyone. So, okay, okay. Yourself, your character, and just like uh, your name, class, whatever like that, and uh, any experience you have. With All right, then, well, Sorry to it's Lucian, it's a rogue, and I'm an elf. There we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, we'll do full. Oh, okay. You're better than me. <laughs> I got excited. I had to hide my face. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. I know you guys are really into your character, but we don't want to do it twice, kind of thing, you know. You're right. But uh, Pancog, <laughs> you're next. Well, if some of you know me, I am Pancake Mama. Uh, I'm using Fragger setup, so my hair is blending into the green screen. Um. <clears throat> My character's name is Pancog. I am a half-elf ranger. I have never played a ranger. I mostly played rogues, so this will be a new experience. Um, I've played D&D 5th edition on and off for, uh, I want to say, six, seven years from high school up until now. Rock on. Uh, have you played 5th edition or 5th? Yes, uh, that's the only edition that I've been familiar with so oh rock on it's the only one that i've i've been on we got some beginners some people that have played the edition and some old school Ooh, people's guitar. very cool um, apparently i still have sound effects enabled on uh some stream you guys are gonna hear <laughs> <laughs> I I you're I welcome alerts but apparently the, the chatbot stuff still goes Ooh, through guitar. and there's no i've got a I have some pop nuts yeah. you know what? there's a car I feed her and. Kitty <laughs> can. We can. All right. Um, let's see. Um, so information on the what's going to be happening right now. Like I said, we're just going to be playing some fun stuff right now. We're all just going to be learning the tool and how it's most uh, effectively used, and uh, just kind of figure out how we all play together as uh, a group here. Um, we're pretty excited. Like um, I'm going to avoid. Attempt or uh, talking to chat as most, much as possible because I want to immerse myself in the game as much as the players, you know, show them respect as well. Um, but we are streaming, so uh, if we take breaks or whatever, uh, I will reach out to you guys and we can all chat. Anyways, okay, how are we going to start this thing? Uh, let's see. You guys just ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready when you are, dude. Let's do it. All right. Do it. Do okay. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, I'm not going to go crazy into detail about the where you guys are at right now because we're going to go into that next week when everyone is uh, involved. But you guys are all uh, Eldarians. You're from a megatropolis called Eldaria. Um, and the reason why you guys have such vastly different backgrounds and races is because Eldaria is massive. It is a humongous city. It is... You, your city has been thriving for so many centuries that it's actually grown and enveloped other major cities in the area around it. So there are many diverse cultures and situations, and you can find anything you want in the city. You can take hours to cross the city itself. So there's a little bit of a background on where you're all from. Um, you're all Darians. It's called Eldaria. Oh, I thought that was me. Uh, <laughs> so, go ahead. So, is Ald Aldaria is the city? It's not the planet. Yes, you're uh, from the okay, city. Okay, gotcha. Aldaria. Okay. And right now, 
there is a giant festival going on. Um, let's see if I can get some proper ambiance. Um, there is the summer solstice is here, and <coughs> we, as tradition, uh, all the farmers and all the workers of the land get together to celebrate another year of harvest and celebration. Uh, everyone's bringing all their wares, a giant market, dancing, music, everything that your heart could be contented is uh, happening in the city for the next week. Um, it's just a giant party. People don't really have any responsibilities or obligations to work besides, uh, I mean, like there's people, farmers and stuff are still picking their stuff to sell the market, but they're not like actively working. They're participating oh, in the uh, festival as well. Everyone's having a good time. All right, let's play some festival songs or something. Also, sorry, I heard a sound. Uh, I disabled a thing that I wasn't supposed to. Cool. Let's do... Here you go. This might work. Sorry, I'm getting messages here. One of my things isn't working. And music should be playing. Go! There you go! Oh! The ambiance! <laughs> there you go. You guys got uh, some sounds coming in. Um, I'm gonna switch the scene here so we can actually have something actually we're just RPing right now so no big deal um so essentially you guys are gonna be meeting up you're not meeting up each other but you're all gonna be a part of there, there's a tavern in town called the two tables and it is I guess you could say notoriously known for strange things happening not necessarily like uh supernatural or anything but it just seems to attract a lot of very interesting <laughs> uh people um situations come to light and uh you're figuring you know what At the time of a festival two tables might be a place to be it started off as a small tavern uh once uh when the city was first established so this tavern is many centuries years old and it's expanded over time so there's obviously more than two tables um but that's how it originally started it was just couple of friends had the idea let's start a tavern and all they had was two ta taverns or two tables in their house and uh it's eventually grown into this very successful tavern with some very interesting people that join in and uh that is what's happening so uh i suppose we could come up with a reason for you being here um lushu uh you are attracted to it as a thief uh, that you know many interesting people will come to visit, many some out-of-towners, and you're looking for to take advantage of maybe some ridding uh, or freeing some people of their coin, as you could say. Yes, I will be. Uh, you could be coming in. Uh, you're obviously here. You're looking for some uh, rare herbs that are coming in from uh, out-of-city as well to add to your collection and so you can make your brews and potions as well. Um, mm -hmm. And... Uh, you're kind of stopping in the tavern because you know this is the place to be. Uh, talk to some interesting people. Yep. Maybe they have some wares or uh, that aren't necessarily, uh, you know, thought too highly of in the actual commonplace of people. So you're looking for some maybe uh, dealings under the table there. Rokax. Gotcha, you gotcha. Yeah, you could be here. Um, you just got back from a mission, actually. Uh, you were just out collect uh, rounding up some uh, lost uh, herd for a uh, farmer uh he, he kind of lost some herd and uh you figured you know what you'll do your good deed for the week help out a farmer uh because he was struggling uh to get his uh produce or produce his meat to the market when you know they're all around and he wanted to bring some wool in it as well uh so you did a good deed you got paid as well and uh now you're looking just to sit down and relax maybe with a cup of ale hancock According to your background, you are here for some uh, pleasures of your uh, of the all the various cultures and stuff. The carnal uh, desires. Yeah, sure. Uh, that can bring people <laughs> here. So you are looking uh, just just to have some fun, you know, hang out and enjoy yourself. Um, and that's what you guys are all. You're all in the tavern itself. Uh, you don't know each other yet, um, but you're all somewhere in the tavern. Uh, Lushu, we'll say, uh, 
you're you're talking to some uh lofty lord here in a corner and uh okay. you know, you, you, you you're trying to run a scam on him. You're not necessarily trying to pickpocket him right now, but you're trying to run a scam in on him and to see if he'll just uh, give you some coin and uh, you just can walk out of that. Now, Rokax is on a table nearby and uh, he can overhear this kind of scam and he's could be like rolling his eyes right now. Or he can interact as he sees fit Echo, you are just walking into the bar or the tavern to find uh, all these various peoples drinking and cheersing and having fun. And uh, Pancog, you are actually already sitting at the bar right now. Now, at this point, this is all on you guys. Okay, then. Well, at this point, what I would do, seeing as I'm trying to run some sort of scam, is I'd be asking... Um, any sort of questions which could like give me any sort of insight as to what he's already invested in because he's a lord um that leads me to believe that he's in some sort of like high-end business as well so if i were to find out what he was in um maybe i could spin a tale of my own um to make him invest in a little project that i've got going on uh and then never see him again i reckon that would be a good way to start it off um so yeah, would I have to roll for that? Uh, or do I just ask a question? Yeah, you, uh, so, so, so I would say to him, oh, well, in that case, I just say to him, okay, um, you might so what kind of business are you in? What you're trying to sell him on. Well, first, first I would ask him what kind of business he's in, because I don't know what I would be trying to sell unless I knew what kind of business he was in for the advantage. He just inherited money. He just has money. Oh, he just inherited it. Oh, yeah, so he's just okay. old money. Yeah, it's just old, oh, okay. ritzy dude that's sitting there and just... So he grew up rich? Yeah, he grew up rich. Okay, so he never earned the money, so he doesn't really know the true value of it. Correct. <laughs> Okay, okay, that would give it like some sort of advantage. Um, I would say... I'd say horse racing. You're gonna try to... I would say horse racing. Yeah, I would try to convince him to front me some money for say, four or five horses to um, take 50-50 like ownership in this and the first race we'd split it so he gets 80 20. um but yeah that's what i'd probably do <laughs> that 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 no, no that that's from the takings of tickets and the sales of earned from that that's what it would be it'd be people seeing it and he'd be a part of that business okay that's what i'd try yeah go ahead and roll deception okay um Ooh. Um, skills, deception. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I wrote a seven. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he doesn't <laughs> in the slightest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> peasant, you don't disturb me with your lies. Don't try to. <laughs> Some other lofty, uh, <laughs> she bag. I don't know word. Some other commoner. Shoo shoo. And as he shoos you away, uh, actually no, I'm not gonna say anything right there. He tells you to shoo. You do anything, Rokax? Um, I'd like to. I'd like to step in and help this. Uh, help this rogue out. Um, gonna help him. I'd like to. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay. I mean. You know, eat the rich, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll uh, I'll step in and try to uh, try to. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna talk him up a little bit um, and and try to encourage the guy that he is he is a he is kind of trustworthy and it's not a bad investment because I've had I've invested. Um, with this uh with this rogue before and I've I've come out money ahead. So I want to I want to go ahead and um roll along deception with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Right. If I can figure out how this works. Hold on. What? 
There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we are selling yeah. nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bad at this. I shouldn't. <laughs> get up, get, be gone. Because I am the DM, but I'm gonna, because this is hilarious. He rolled a four. No! <laughs> he did, and only his plus one modifier made him five. The, the nobleman rolled a four. But he gets a plus two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he, he is almost convinced. Because you look um, like a gentleman with your armor stuff. He, he uh, sees that well-maintained armor and you look like a stand-up gentleman, but he is not convinced that... Okay, can I go ahead and... Can I go ahead? I want to go ahead and uh, change my tactic here and um, somewhat aggressively encourage him uh, <laughs> to uh, invest in this scheme. So I'd like to. I'd like. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I want to do intimidation. Okay, you're gonna roll at disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage. Oh, that's fine. So yeah, roll another one. So what did I do two? Uh, just do so that was fifteen. Count it, yeah. All right, so you roll a six. Oh damn! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> okay, Ready? this is brilliant already. I'm loving it. Um. Okay, so. <laughs> that that fifteen would have been <laughs> awesome. Damn it! <laughs> his two guards or his three guards around him, and uh, they uh, they see you move aggressively, and they. All three reach for their weapon, and as a warning thing to you, and the Lord kind of looks at you and just gestures, like, "Do you not see who I have with me?" <laughs> and he says, ah, you no trouble here. You get out of here, you lot. You're not worthy to be sitting at my table." And as oh, before I he finishes that, the barmaid comes over to serve some drinks, and she spills. <laughs> The drinks on accident. She trips Pancake or Pancog was walking by. She was wanting to know what all this commotion was about. So she starts kind of walking by and accidentally the barmaid runs into each other and spills the beer all over the table, all over the nobleman, all over Rokax and Lushu. Echo, you are observing all this going down. You can interject at any point or you can just sit there and laugh in the background. But now Pancog is involved <laughs> as well. Is that my uh, my first reaction is you spilled beer all over the place. What have you to say for yourself? I'd like to I'd like to help the barmaid up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and help her up and start helping her gather her stuff. Make sure she's off. All... all right. Well, she, she's uh she's very thankful, but. Thank you, thank you, thank you so good, sir. I'm so sorry for spilling here. Let me go, let me go get you a rag to, to clean off your armor. And she kind of scurries away quickly to go get a rag to clean up. Uh, she's more, she's being polite, but she's more worried that the nobleman is going to do something. Like turn her in or get her fired or take some of her money to, uh, to stay quiet kind of thing. Uh, so she scurries um, real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to interject and cut off the nobleman before he can start going on a rant. And uh, uh, to the nobleman, I, I say, good sir, that was an honest to, to goodness accident. Uh, I saw that there was a step that dips down in the floor. And she honestly, she slipped. Uh, you, you can forgive her just this once without any further discretion. Okay. Uh, he's just, Do I have to? Oh, I'm wasting my time. Go shoot. Go make yourself useful elsewhere. Don't bother my time with your trivialities. Oh, well, good sir. I would like to interject that I am also a noble. My name is Pancog Galanondel. Oh, I know this name. What's your name? <laughs> What's the last name? Mean again? It's Moon Whisper, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, you're the Moon Whisper Clan. I know. I know very well. Wait, feel, sit, sit. Join my table. 
I will join you as my two, as long as my two mm. guards are allowed. I look convincingly at Lushu and Rokax and like gesture like, Hello. shut up and just sit down. <laughs> Oh, I nod. just slowly look towards I'm both of them and just like wink towards both of them. Just little, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, good, we good, we good. All right, let's go along with this. <laughs> I walk over and I I, I walk behind uh, Lucio and Rohax and uh, I I I pull I, I I lean in between both of them and say quietly. I've been watching you all evening. What are you two up to? What exactly <laughs> are you two up to? Um, I'm amused, intrigued, and also I might want in. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, yeah, yeah. So while she's doing that, I'm entertaining the nobleman. Hey, hey, Echo, uh, go ahead and roll an investigation. To, so you know okay. how much you actually overheard. I guess eh, that could be a perception. I'll let you choose. Investigation or perception. Roll one of those to see how much you know about the conversation that you overheard. Perception. Let's see, find deception, and then where it says total, drag it from there onto the thing. Oh, <laughs> wow, the crit! Yeah. I didn't mean to, I didn't... Jesus. That's, that's natural 20. She heard everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's a complete and utter fart, but you're like, I'm going to make me some money off of this. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were close enough on the bar that you overheard everything. <laughs> we don't have to explain anything. All right. <laughs> um, so you, uh, P Pancog's distracting the nobleman. Okay. Um, you guys are trying to <laughs> run a scam on this guy. Okay. As I, I, I believe you guys ran with this. All right. This is. I love that's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> Since this is now not session zero, I had to come up with something stupid in hours. To run, <laughs> and now none of it is helping. None of it is <laughs> planned. Hey, um, welcome to being a DM. DM. <laughs> <laughs> is basically, just like DM pulling stuff out of your No matter what I plan, weird side thing comes blindsided anyway. So, um, as all this is going down, trying to run this scam on this nobleman, um, all of a sudden. Hold on, making sure we can... Oh, I don't have any sound effects for this. That's a bummer. All of a sudden, the tavern door slams open. And just... It opens up with such force, all the pictures and stuff on the wall get rattled. Uh, and, and then in steps a mountain of a man. So big you'd swear he was part giant. Right? He, he has to duck to get under the doorway. He's clad in furs and carries a large two-handed or a uh, double-sided axe covered in blood or stained with blood <clears throat> the room oh you know what i should probably <clears throat> do this now <laughs> the room grows silent you can hear outside the f festival still going on but the entire tavern has gone silent the giant Ooh. man walks in and surveys the room Axe on his back, like and just <clears throat> kind of a, a gruff look. Everyone's kind of worried about what's going to happen. And uh, after a, a tense moment, he bursts into jovial laughter. I got to get a sound here. Here we go. And moves for the bar. <laughs> ah, at ease, my friends. I have come. <laughs> My greatest foe, several beers and keep them coming. Tonight I celebrate. Oh, hell yeah. Foes. He declares, he shoves past patrons, disregarding any of their personal space. He didn't even care. There's people kind of just standing there. He's walking in between tables, pushing his way <clears> to <throat> people. They're all, you know, bouncing across, trying to get out of the way of this giant behemoth of a man as he wakes his way <clears throat> to the bar. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> just stand <Wow>. <laughs> Okay that then. Was well, an that was an entrance. Well, <laughs> the, the first thing that I think Lucio would think would be seeing as he's buying everyone beers and continuously keeping speaking, them going. Speaking oh. of person, you're role playing this, mate. Okay, I am. I am. Okay. There you go. Hmm. That man. He must have some mighty fine coin on him. So I I instantly attempt just a pickpocket. <laughs> just instant pickpocket. Just what? straight away. That is the first thing. That is the Because, because no, let me explain. Lu 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 Lushu comes from a very long... You'll find out next time we play, but Lushu comes from a very long line of trained professional thieves, and he is one of the best thieves in the world. So as soon as he sees the opportunity and someone flaunting money... He he wants it, dude. He wants it. So I, I'm I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I I wanna. He just came in because oh, he's buying everyone beer no, and said continuously no, keep it going. He didn't say. Yeah, he didn't, say, yeah, he well, didn't want them to keep said, coming. Uh, give me beer. I'm gonna rob him anyway. I wanna rob him. I wanna rob him. I wanna rob him. Right. I'm gonna rob him. I'm gonna so, rob him. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Is that so a sleight of I... hand? What was that? Can is that I, a sleight uh... of hand check? It oh, would be sleight of hand, yes, yeah, but um, okay. do I do I recognize at this point that Lushu is this is what's going through Lushu's mind, or should I should I roll to see if he's I can? I mean, obviously, obviously, his eyes. <laughs> uh, what's your passive perception? <laughs> I mean, well, it w I think it would be insight. Perception is not quite That's that, true. but um. So um see if you actually are oh man Lushu, or if you actually are like who is this guy that just busted in here and is making a scene i mean uh what's my passive passive uh i mean it would be it would be passive insight so yeah. it would be 10 i believe okay so yeah you are uh, distracted by the behemoth of a man Okay. You, you don't recognize Lucio is thinking like because Lucio is also <coughs> trained in, you know, the what is that called? Not hiding in place, right? Hiding, but you know, keeping fa he's got his poker face on. He doesn't want no one to know that he's thinking about robbing this dude. Yeah. So uh, of course, of course. Okay. Sense. Highly trained thief. Highly. Can trained. I do like an, it, like a a check to see if I might have heard of this dude from like rumors or something around the tavern? Like if you just overheard someone talking about him? Yeah, and mm. see if I know like any information on him? Uh, you wouldn't know anything and no one else knows anything. This is some stranger. As far as people know, he's here, he, they, he was here for the festival. But apparently, he's just here on coincidence that he happened to take out one of his greatest enemies. And he's here to get drunk. He wasn't even aware of the festival. For, as far as he knows, the festival's for him. He, he thinks everyone is throwing a party that he killed. So he's distracted. Head. I like that. He, he, he's not. He's a barbarian. He's just, you know, killy, 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 killy. So he's a murder hobo. Yeah, 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 a murder. He doesn't think much. He just wants to go kill stuff. As you guys are sitting here, he's just downing more and more drinks, you know, getting more and more belligerent, just less and less aware of his surroundings you know he's cleared a swath of people there's like a 30 foot radius around him where no one is coming up the bartender is getting more and more uh on at e ill at ease i guess you'd say serving him beer because he doesn't know what's going to happen and if something happens he doesn't know if he's going to be able to stop it what about uh what about lucia trying to uh um can i get an advantage because seeing how drunk he is or sh should i roll to see if i can tell how drunk he is to give me an advantage uh, oh. i'm go ahead i think i i might go up to the bar and just simply congratulate him and get talking to him because i'm an investigator as well so i could get talking to him and and ask him about himself that way and try and figure out what what and who he's about by 
kind of getting on his good side per se. So if I approach him, would I? Hey, uh, congratulations on your big fight. I hear that you've done real well. The whole town is talking about it. I mean, look at you. I mean, just out of battle and you're at the pub instead of sleeping. You're not like all those other people, the lazy <laughs> people. You know, yeah. tell, you know tell, tell me. Tell me the story. Tell me how it happened. Tell me everything. All right. For effect, Ooh. I need to go grab something that I can hit. And not oh god. To break so hold on. Hold on. It's right over here. Don't worry. I got it. I got you got it, it, dude. I got it. Hell yeah. I knew there was a reason I kept this over here for some reason. Oh god, I'm gonna Do you have a gong? No. Just to hit. Okay. Uh, you come over and explain a lot to me. What like, the hell? Wait, what the hell? Why the oh, I should have been there. The glory was all mine. There I was surrounded by 17. Vicious fiends. They, oh, they surrounded me, but I pulled out my axe and I started cleaving through the lot of them. <laughs> oh, you should have been there. It was lovely. Oh, the blood, the stench, <laughs> the, ag the agony on my vi the villainous eyes was unbelievable. You cannot imagine. You cannot imagine the, the amount of. Wonder Yo. that one can experience cleaving through their enemies like a hot axe through cold lard. Oh, it was seriously just the glorious of days. Here, have join me. <laughs> have some beer on me. <laughs> Baki, more. Can I roll? <laughs> so he, he buys you a beer, and I'm gonna keep this next to me. Because uh, I'm probably gonna be hitting things more. <laughs> okay, okay, whilst he's distracted, um, and seeing as he is drunk, does that give me advantage on the pickpocket also? Um, <laughs> sure. I'm gonna fish for it, dude. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so I just click advantage, that's it, yeah. And then just roll sleight of hand, right? Sight of hand. Here we go. Okay, let's go. That's actually Aww. a decent roll. All right. <clears throat> 17. Not bad. Now I get a roll. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> you, you're reaching up to one of the baubles. <laughs> on, uh, he's, you've noticed that he's got many, many, many uh decorative items across his belt he's got many uh, baubles of various uh gems and jewels and everything is very pleasing to the eye you feel very drawn to these baubles uh and his little trinkets um you go for the most appetizing looking one a very it's a very light green but it looks like there is like little little bits of swirling clouds inside of it and as you reach for it the barbarian in his wild plunder and explaining the story hits you <clears throat> with his flailing arms. and and he's kind of confused oh no being drunk he doesn't know that you're trying to steal one of his baubles, but he stops you from stealing it. He wow. thinks you're here to listen to his glorious tales as well. So he says, Oh, another friend here. Join me. Join me. More the mirror. Beer. Bring beer. And Barmaid keeps showing up beer. <laughs> and uh, he picks you up. This man is gigantous. He grabs you by the top of your shirt and lifts you up and places you on the stool next to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, I just kind of sit there a little bit like bewildered of what just happened to me because um, I'm so surprised that he managed to catch me. Even though it was an accident that he kind of caught me. Um, I, I breathe a real big sigh of relief that um, this guy with the gigantic axe is currently not angry at me and is buying me beer instead. 
<laughs> so I, I look over the bar and I, I nod towards um, Echo and Pancog and Rokex. Yeah, because I, like, I don't think I can say right, 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 right. you. So it's a little like, okay, we good sort of thing. Let's see how far we can go with this. Uh, so then I asked the barbarian, um, so tell me your story. I, I haven't heard it. Maybe you should say it louder for everyone to hear. Just to try to get all the focus on this guy. Glorious of tales, let me tell you. And he starts <clears throat> smacking things. I would hit my desk, but I will break things. It's <laughs> like wood. You know, he's banging on things. And at this point, he's trying to explain his story, but he is getting more and more belligerent and excited, and he's beating on things. All of a sudden, the bartender sees Pancog walking up, and he he tries to whisper to you, and he's like, Oh, he's obviously um, getting very frustrated and worried that stuff is going to get destroyed in his tavern. So he's, he, he grabs you by the arm and says, You there, you, I will give you all drinks for free and a gold. Uh, you will get drinks for free for the rest of the night and you will all get a gold if you can help me get this man out of here. What do you Okay. <clears throat> I agree to his terms. Uh, so then I go up to the barbarian after bidding good day to the nobleman because I don't want to spurn the nobleman because might come back later and haunt us. I don't know. Um, I go up to him and I'm assuming he he's decently built, right? I mean, he's, he's barbarian abs. Barbarian nice and body. Man, for sure. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to walk over very provocatively. And I'm going to lean into him and, you know, kind of casually caress him and attempt for uh, seduction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, Didn't count on that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well, okay. It doesn't matter how bad you are. Okay. Uh, so, so wait, is this performance or persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> or it's deception, because are you really attracted to him? I mean, he... Yeah. I mean, if he kind of is built like Jason Momoa, sure. <laughs> okay. Sure. Alright, you choose any of those three to roll. I will let you choose. Which three? Performance or deception. Well, if you're attracted to him, don't roll deception. I will do persuasion since I have a plus four on that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh my god. I saw Why? Oh, well. Why? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's drunk, so yeah. maybe it'll... Well, after that... <sighs> oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, fuck. I don't... Oh my god. <laughs> One of the dice I don't have. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, this is great. This is, oh, I should turn on the tavern music again. Everyone's kind of chilling out and uh, kind of accepting there's just giant... Wait, wait, would I have advantage on that since he's technically drunk? No, I think he was just seeing someone come try to hit on him. He may not even realize you're hitting on him, but um, <clears throat> he is... Uh, he, he starts weeping uncontrollably. <laughs> What? Oh <laughs> he, he is so drunk that someone just coming over, you know, suddenly gonna try to come flirt with him. He's just. Thank you so much for coming over here. To... Yeah. <laughs> he comes over, <clears throat> a big hug. Roll a uh, strength check. Pancom. Oh my god. <laughs> if, uh, he squeezes you too hard. Would that be strength or survival? Just instantly <laughs> dies. <laughs> constitution, maybe. Uh, constitution. You see if she hurts him. Damage, yeah. Oh yeah, you, okay, so you, you managed to... Uh, actually, you could roll... We'll say that was a dexterity to kind of get away from the grip. Uh, but essentially, he was coming over and he's going to give you a big old bear hug. And now you have this eight foot 
tall behemoth of a man just enveloping you in his arms, weeping uncontrollably. If uh, you don't get out of there soon, you're going to be bearing the full, what, 400 pounds of weight on you here in a few minutes. Okay. Um, from what I can see, probably kind of over his shoulder, because I'm assuming he, like, lifted me up. <laughs> no, no, he's hit, he's hunkering over you to get to your height. Oh. Can I, can I see, like, around his arm or something? Your eyes are like this to the people just sitting there like, Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, obviously, I see her struggling, right? Like she's struggling uh, yeah, to. I see, okay. I see I'll, 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 uh, I'll go ahead and step over there and uh, try to encourage him to not <laughs> can, be suffocating can I, like, this young to lady. Like, to like, rag, hey, let's go outside. Okay. <laughs> <Take. laughs> You, 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 well, did, did he announce his name? Krog. No. Krog is his <clears throat> name? Alright. Um, I'll walk over there. I'm gonna walk over there and say, Krog, how about another beer? And I'll, I'm gonna try to pull him up off of her. Um, so he doesn't kill her. Because I don't, I don't know that... I don't know that the bartender is trying to get him out yet, because he he said that to uh, to Pancog specifically, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna pull him up and try to. Hey, how about how about another one on me? Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, he's still, you know, weeping and stuff. Like, <laughs> oh, Krogs made so many great friends today. <laughs> oh, please get some beers. You know, he 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 releases Pancog and. Stumbles up to the bar, and you know he's barely, you know he's he's doing the lean. You know, like, okay. Just trying to stay up, and he's starting to walk, and he starts telling you the story of, or other stories of where he's been in combat. <laughs> okay. okay, so I then walk over back over to the bar with. Lucio, Echo, <clears throat> and Rokax. And I casually lean in and I'm like, hey guys. So the bartender has requested that we get rid of the Grog, the barbarian. And he has promised us gold and free drink. And I am going to, to grab the back of his uh <laughs> the back of his furs right here, and I'm going to lift him up. And begin to take him out. <laughs> You're He's a big boy, dude. All right. You said this man was eight feet tall. I have a list <clears throat> on my character sheet that I am seven <clears throat> eight. So he is not much bigger than me. Okay. <laughs> so I will gladly roll a strength check okay. to okay. encourage him to get up. Roll a strength check. Uh, I mean, it could only my... be better than my persuasion. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I should get it. I should. Oh. No! Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, Hell yeah, dude. All right. Uh, so, you... <laughs> what the hell we talk to him? All of a sudden, you go <clears throat> and drink a beer with this guy to grabbing him, to lifting him up, and he gets thrown back. He's like, Why you grab Krog? What meaning is this? I go. I'm, drag I'm dragging him out. But All right. Oops. I forgot to turn that off. He starts flailing around. All right. Echo, Pancog, and Lushu roll a dexterity check. You couldn't have just said, hey, let's go to another tavern and we'll buy you more beer. Ouch. And then left oh. him there. Here's my, uh, here's my, the, um, my guy's not very smart. And he's, my personality trait here says, uh, I face problems head on. A simple direct solution is the best path, path to success. <laughs> All right, Echo. Uh, dexterity check for you. Or dexterity save. Incoming. Yeah. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. On the tab bit, make sure you're on the main tab, and then on the right hand side, it's like saves. So roll that one into the thing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Nice. 
No bad, no bad. Hancock dodges his flailing arms flawlessly. Echo, you barely managed to escape a fist coming straight for your chest. Lushu, on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Takes one I think not that cold, does it? And. <clears throat> Oops. Why is this not working? There you go. You take one straight to the teeth, and you take two damage. <laughs> Oh, okay then. So hang on. Where's I? Need... Does that change my HP automatically on uh, Fantasy Grounds? <clears throat> uh, no, because I didn't apply it directly. I can do it for you. I think. Okay, so, uh, it won't let me change it for some reason. I'm clicking on it, but HP won't. I got change. You. Oh, somehow I. Well, somehow you got more Oop. life than your max. There you go. Yeah. How? <laughs> I, I <actually laughs> Thank you. <laughs> apparently. Um, That's so good. Okay. Uh, I need to open. Let's back up. Okay. Everything's still looking okay. Um, let's see. Um, so, yeah, you get... And then you get knocked back a couple feet. Sitting on your butt. You know, you got knocked back. Um, okay, what's happening? Okay, then... Brokax was grabbing him. And now the barbarian's upset. That you're grabbing him and he doesn't know why. Yeah, I'm dragging, I'm dragging him out. So hopefully we're headed toward the door. Yeah, I mean, the man's not uh, more than 1,020 pounds, is he? I attempt to explain to him that we are not dragging him for, for no reason. We're dragging him for his own safety. He is um, exhibiting yep, signs of self-harm or some BS. <laughs> just say, just say you know, have... buddy, you, you know, you've had your fun. You know, you've told everyone. Maybe you just go home and tell everyone you see on the streets on your way home and, you know, go to bed and then, you know, you could do that maybe. You know, you've told everyone, everyone inside, so why right, don't you just right. tell everyone on the way home? Continuing Everybody on from Echo, like, stole, everyone else must, him as I drag him out. Yeah. must know about your, your great adventure. So, with all this and how drunk he is, he's very confused. He's switching between massively anger and wanting to destroy <clears throat> to weeping more because people are show showing that they care for him even though they're lying through their teeth. <laughs> so, would it be like a persuasion check to see if he actually does really believe us? I'm gonna say, yeah, he just rolled shit. So, he he believes you and so he was already in an emotional state and uh, he's being dragged out. He's grabbing things as he's being pulled away. He, he grabs the chair leg of another patron and oh my God. slides it. Gnome goes flying. Cause you know, he was a gnome chair. <laughs> so he's just, he's kind of throwing a, 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 a toddler fit as he's being dragged out. And uh, at this point, the entire bar is uh, kind of again in shock as to what the heck is happening. But you managed to successfully drag him out of the bar. No, okay, so you're out of the bar now. What are you doing? I'm gonna tell him to uh, go, you know, go sleep it off. Congratulations, go sleep it off. And I'll, I'll uh, wait there to make sure that he doesn't re-enter before I go get my free beer for the night. <laughs> All right. uh, I feel bad for the guy. I'll give him some herbs where he's hangover in the morning. <laughs> And I and I I'm very nice. I I give him a nice gentle hug and then I walk away very quickly before he can like grapple me. Okay. And before he goes away, I notice that uh, you know he's a bit beaten up, so I kind of just I, I give up on the fact of trying to rob him because I feel that bad for him. Uh, so I, I just kind of just nod towards him because you know Lucy's got an attitude. So just kind of nods towards him. Like yeah, uh, you're gone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but we did want the beer. <laughs> as uh, as you drop him on the street, you know, he's drunk, he's discombobulated, he's trying to figure out what exactly happened. His world's spinning, not only because he's drunk, but he just got dropped on the ground, so now he's trying to recollect his thoughts, understand what the heck is happening. He kind of gets up, forgets what he was doing, and then uh, kind of just walks off, stumbling, singing some sort of very strange song about onions and potatoes and a stew of heaven. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So he goes, 
and trounces off. Um, as soon as he leaves, the tavern erupts in cheers. Because they, they thought something was going to happen and no one was going to be able to restrain him. The barkeep, as you walk back inside, the barkeep comes in ecstatic that you helped him rid him of this potential menace. And of course, he's bringing your beers and he sets them all in front of you. And he says, uh, on the house tonight. You got beers in front of you now. How much gold did he give us? You're going to remind him that you, uh, that he promised you gold? Yes. Yeah, how about my gold? He, uh, yeah, I want to know. <laughs> he, he blinks at you a couple times. He says, oh, right. Honest mistake. And he gives each of you a gold piece. One gold? One gold. One gold. Well, I mean, okay. he is giving us free beer. Yep. Yeah. 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 Did you guys? Yeah. Well, those, those, those beers are a couple of yeah. silver. So. All right. That's. Oh, hang I, on. I, uh, hold on. I look at one gold piece disapprovingly, but, but you get I take it. I guess we didn't agree. It. We didn't yeah, agree. We were all night. Night. It's like two or three gold a piece. I can't edit my treasure. Um, it says I got twenty six gold, but I can't add a gold to it. <clears throat> yeah, I can't add gold onto mine either. Okay. Yeah. That's I think that's a you thing. Okay. All right, I edit everyone's gold. Thank you. Uh, inventory. <clears throat> inventory. Oh, just so I know, for the sake of it, because I know some games are different, is it 100 gold is one platinum, or is it 1,000 gold, one platinum? It's, it's 100 gold. gold. Okay, just so I know, yeah. Okay. It might be 1,000. Yeah. I'll look it up. Because some games are no, like 100, some are 1,000, so I don't know, so... Start it's uh, 100 gold per platinum. It's 10 EP per per gold. I forget what the E one is. It's like... um, okay. 100, 100 silver per gold and 100 copper per silver. I forget mm -hmm. what EP is, too. It's not used much. Um, anyways, okay. So you successfully pull out Krog the Barbarian and send him on his way. And uh, now you have free drinks for the rest of the night. As you are walking in, a elf and a dwarf walk in together, and they're, they have very confused looks on their faces. Not sure what the heck is happening, but they, they kind of walk past you, and uh, the, the dwarf is like, Well, it's never our, none of our business. <clears throat> and uh, they continue to walk into the bar. Uh, let's see. I forgot what I was going to go with that. Hold on a minute. Mm -mm. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> they kind of look at you interestingly, and uh, they see that the bar uh, tender is giving you guys free drinks, and they're kind of taken aback by that. They're, they're upset that they're not getting free drinks as well, but they kind of just assume that you helped them out, so they're getting drinks. Um... Anyway, as they walk in, the dwarf bellows out, Elf! Bring Elf! The Elf needs some schooling! And he points over to his Elf friend there. Now, the dwarf, he resembles a broad-shouldered... Or a... <clears throat> very broad-shouldered and big, bushy beard. You know, elegant beard for a dwarf. Even among dwarf standards, it's very elegant. Mm. He's got a helmet on. He's got a long braided ponytail in the back. And then his companion, this long slender elf, sandy colored hair. And uh, they're walking into the bar. He's, uh, the dwarf shoves a couple humans off the bar stools and plops himself down. And the elf graciously takes a seat next to him. And, uh, they demand some beer. And you overhear them saying, to, uh, the dwarf to the elf, he's like, Here's the deal, elf. We drink. We each put five gold on the bar. For each time we drink, last one standing wins the pot. Let's see. And the elf kind of grins, he's like, so the, stand, or the standard wager, then. And the dwarf glares around. 
Any of your biggers. What's in on this action? <coughs> Five girls per drink. Winner takes the pot. Who's with me? Okay, what kind of um, clothes are they wearing? Are they wearing, like, you know, you said they were in, like, a helmet, or the dwarf was, and he had, like, a really good beard for, like, dwarven standards. Are they in, like, high military sort of, like, attire? Or are they in, like, noble attire? Casual attire? Can we tell what kind of dwarf and elf they are by what they're wearing? Um, you can't really tell <clears throat> what their stature is, but they're obviously dressed for the festival itself. Okay. For the festival, <clears throat> uh, I kind of turn. Drink, so, well, my eyes gleam straight up um, as soon as I hear that I there's like uh, big money on the table for drinking. Like, pretend you're drinking the beer. Um, yeah, and what, that's exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna um, run over there. So Lushu walks up to the two gentlemen, um, completely ignoring the fact that he was still talking to Echo, Rokax, and Pancock. Um, it just as instantly, as soon as he heard it, um, starts walking over and says, Guys, I'm in! Five gold per drink, let's do this! So I, I instantly put five gold down on the table. Um, but obviously, Lushu is a bit of a con artist, so there, I, I think he's got something up his sleeve to uh, make it seem as if he is drinking the beer. Oh, you're gonna... okay. Yeah, he's gonna cheat. <laughs> Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be keeping a close eye on Lushu here because I obviously know that he's at this point he likes to get into some things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the show. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're not gonna join um, in on the drinking? No. I'm gonna join in on the drinking game because the more money you put in the pot, the more chance of winning. If two of us are playing, there's more chance of us winning in the well, averages. Remember, you're, as character knowledge, you guys are not a party yet. Yeah. So whoever wins, it's mm. their money. We're, we all, could, we're one yeah, for one. Yeah, or we could it. decide, yeah, at the in end, other, we could consider who shares the pot, yeah. In other words, whoever gets robbed loses their money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Pretty much. Um, so, you know what, I'll, I'll, jo I'll join in, yeah. Uh, and I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to walk around the bar and listen to, like, some of the, the locals talk about, you know, uh, the happenings of what's going on around the city and whatnot, just. <clears throat> okay. You're just looking for some gossip? Yeah, I'm looking for some tea. Okay. Um. Okay, so since uh, Lushu and Echo are going to be involved in the drinks, you guys kind of pop up to the bar and you're like, say, you're going to take that bet. And he says, Gah! Uh, that's not a dwarf accent. Fuck. Dwarf. <laughs> I can't think of a dwarf. You need to go extremely Scottish. Scottish. It's Scottish. Yeah. yeah. And I went British there. And British. I'm making a little bit. <laughs> and it went British. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, so he says, Oi, the more the merrier. Sit. And so now you're. I, I gotta keep track of the fucking. God damn it. I gotta keep track of the goddamn pot now. Alright. So, <laughs> there. Oh my god, there's 20 gold in the pot for the first drink. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to roll some nasty deception. How. Alright, you need to explain how you're. Well, look, it'll be sleight of hand. <laughs> It'll be sleight of hand, because what I'm, what I'm going to do, wow. I'm going to order a round of drinks. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to secretly add, because um, I have food rations, and I'm guessing like I've got bread on me as well. Um, bread is heavily comprised of yeast, um, and it's a well-known fact that if you mix yeast with alcohol, it completely nullifies the effects, so you can drink a lot more if you have yeast. Which is why when you're drunk, um, if you eat bread, it sobers you up. Um, so, I am back then. Uh, in, in the times, I'm guessing we are, bread was a lot more yeasty than it is nowadays. So, I, I, kind of, I kind of secretly kind of sprinkle some, some yeast extract into my, into my drink to help counteract the alcohol per drink that I take. 
Um, so I guess that would be a sleight of hand check to see if they see me adding the little thing to the drink. I don't know. I guess that would be it, right? All right. Ooh. It's a it's a big one. Yeah. It's a stretch. Okay. It's a stretch. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Echo. Okay, I, I'm just gonna do my luck. I'm not, not no deception or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna straight straight up just luck. Okay. Um, Rokax, you're just kind of enjoying the show in the background. Yep, I'm just gonna see what happens. All right. Uh, let's see. They need. Uh... So I'll be rolling. Well, they want to make sure no one's cheating anyways, because they have money on the line, so they're going to be using their active perception. Uh, so you got to roll sleight of hand. Ooh. 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 I, don't, I, don't, like that. I don't like that sound. No. <laughs> going to have a good time. Am I rolling? I'm rolling sleight of hand, yeah? Yeah. Here we go! Ooh. No! Oh. oh no! Ouch. That's oh, Ouch. critical fail! Yeah, oh. Did you did you just did you just drop your Lots yeast all over the what table? Happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You, you're, you're trying to be subtle about it and sneak in some bread, but you dropped the entire. Oh! Uh. Yeah, <laughs> 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 what you think you're doing? That's not fucking. Why well, I can't do accents when I'm trying to think of the accent? And he's like, you're trying to cheat us out of some money, eh? Like, and then he takes your money that you put down. He says, "You're not." Oh. And he kicks you out. God damn it! I kind of just like <laughs> truffle away all angrily in the corner with my beer that I got from the innkeeper. Just kind of sit down and just drink to myself. World, like, uh, but I, I, I go and sit next to Rokax and just look at him and just give this like, uh, uh, look, yeah, just sort of... all right. I, mean, I, I, I look over at Lucio and I say, so uh, thinking about changing your line of work anytime soon? <laughs> and I just look at him with a dirty look on my face and just take a sip of beer. Uh, just turn away slightly, just to ignore him. Blame the booze. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Here go. Roll a constitution yes. save. And uh, they're going to roll as well. Ooh. Okay. And then <laughs> elf. Okay. Uh, Yo! Not 20. <laughs> in that crit 20! Yo! Another 20? What's going on with you tonight? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play on your computer. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play on your computer, hang on. <laughs> it's mine! Okay. Well, uh, so you pass the flying colors. You, you just show these two boys up. You pound that thing and slam it on the ground. And you let out a burp. Next. It's been a long boy. Today, his boys. He can't hold this liquor right now. <laughs> so he, fa he fails his first check. I shouldn't tell you that. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, he's already kind of looking a little woozy. The dwarf kind of <laughs> stares you up. Does a nod. And says, next round. Slams his hand on the table. All right, you going to put some more money in the pot? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, if she can make it throws like that, she might as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's now 35 gold in the pot. You're See if I can make a hat trick. Alright. Uh, constitution check okay. again. Oh, crap. Okay. What? No, oh. not bad, though. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's, it's uh, not bad. Not bad. It's not, not good. It's not even not bad. <laughs> you pass. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, she uh, that, that one hit, you you can uh went down a little rougher. They they're switching up the, the drink every time. So some are stronger. A little bit of a some are weaker, yep. That one was a little uh heftier, but you managed to keep it down as uh, as well as the dwarf and the elf. Alright. You got another, <clears throat> you wanna go for another one? One more. One last one. Alright. Alright. So you're, there's 50 gold in the pot. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
Ooh. The elf barely passes. The dwarf <laughs> is like a champion. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna roll now. I'm praying for you. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh. So you have one failure. <laughs> All right, you're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel it. You're a little woozy, but you're hanging in there. You're at your uh. level as the elf right now. The, okay, so good, so the good. one that can't hold a booze. Like, he's surprised that you're actually still in this competition. Somehow, somehow. Yeah, but he says, Another round. He's ready for another round. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> My question is, does she have the money? Yeah. Um, I will say that... Whoa. This, uh... This should only be like 15... 15 I can bridge gold, that right? bridge when I come yeah, to right it. right now she's only used 15 <clears throat> gold, but if it get, gets to the point, a crowd has started to gather around to see that this seemingly inconspicuous elf <laughs> is drinking to the likes of a dwarf. And everyone wants to see what's going <laughs> to happen. Okay. I, was say, I think I have I'd go one more. more. Yeah. You're gonna go Cause I have 31 gold pieces now. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Hey. Uh. Oh God. Uh oh. Would you roll? Hold on. Oh yep, that's a fit. It didn't show up. It didn't roll again. It, it didn't. didn't roll. Oh God! Thank God for that. I see a three. Drag it onto the. Th there we go. But three, three was the last roll. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, there you go. Again. Ten. You barely pass again. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, I... You need another nat 20 to just knock him out. This is like a real life drinking competition. <laughs> right? Wait, hang on. How much, how much gold's in the pot right now? 65. 65 gold. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure so... you're not getting back over there. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. So what I do is, is I, I, at this point, I walk over and I, I hand a little note to, um, I might have to do a sleight of hand or a deception, something, I don't know. But I hand, I hand, I hand, oh, I hand a little note to Echo saying that if she continues uh, for one more round, I will attempt to steal all of the gold that's on the bar right now. And we will split it 50-50 when we leave. All right. Slide so do I have to roll deception or sleight of hand? Yeah, because you, <coughs> you need to not realize what you're doing. Actually. So it's sleight of hand, isn't it? Yeah, but they're going to roll a, a perception. And Okay. Yep. Here we go. That's not bad. I'm You're quiet, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I rolled a 20. Beware the smiling D. Yeah. There's no such thing as crits or crit failures on skill checks. Yes, sir! So <laughs> I'm gonna say you managed to slip her that note. Okay. And they happen to not notice as well that you slipped her something. They're wondering okay. if he's more worried that you were going to try to steal the gold, but you walked by, so he stopped paying attention as you slipped her the note. But also, mm -hmm. he's trying to read it without them seeing her read it. And how am I going to let you know that I agree? Um, maybe, like, I left a little, like, note on the thing to be, like, just give me a, like, little nod. Just... But before you take your next drink, just and then take a drink. <laughs> if you so, agree. your your um, suggestion to me is, if I do one more, um, you Whilst will take. While still doing it, I will attempt yeah. to steal the gold. Yeah. As a distraction. 
I yes. distract them. You. But I think it, okay. you need to be able to have like drink the beer. Um, yeah. Yeah. You need to either really do really well or really bad to cause a distraction for it. I think. Okay. All right. Got you. Got you. All right. <clears throat> Okay, then, so would that. would Echo be rolling for the um, the drink first, or would I be rolling for the attempt first? The oh the the gold attempt that you're gonna try yeah. to steal? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Lucio has a problem. You tell me when you're gonna try to steal it. I'm gonna attempt to steal it as they're drinking the beer. Like so, that's their fourth it's beer be on the bar right in front of them. It yeah. is on the bar. Yeah. That, well, I can approach them behind. Wait, wait, I tell you what, I want to roll a stealth check to see if I can appear behind them, like make my way behind them without them noticing me first, before I actually go for the gold. Okay, sure. Can I do that? Awesome, okay. Um, they both get a roll. Ooh, he rolled shit. Ooh, okay, 19. <clears throat> Uh, I bet he's beat me. Yeah, the, the dwarf <laughs> notices you. The fucking elf is clueless as fuck. <laughs> he can't roll for shit. Uh, but the dwarf <laughs> is skulking around. So he, he's keeping his eye on you. Uh, but you got. Wait, are you? You're doing another round right now? Hold on, I gotta calculate this. You're at eighty gold in the pot. Jeez. Yeah, okay. Well, Constitution. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh, double fails. Okay. So, the dwarf failed. And the elf is on his second failure. Okay. Come on. You got this. Whew. Just Roll don't be in that one echo. or five. <clears throat> oh. Hey! Failure. Hey! Uh. Okay, so at this point, the crowd has gathered around. It is very thick among people, and the, everyone is starting to get pumped because the dr or the elf is about to pass out. You're getting pretty woozy, Echo, and the dwarf is finally starting to show signs that he can't keep up. This is some strong friggin' booze. Well, they're, they've hammered one, two, three, four, five beers in like a minute. So. <laughs> All right. The dwarf says, You can't keep up with me. I'm his wife. We live on this beer. I, say you I think. Up. I say you give up if you know it's good for you. I think I can at least try to keep up with you. And seeing as I have started, I. <coughs> I. I might as well try. I love it. I love that. Hey, you get an inspiration point for that. That was awesome. <laughs> RP. All right. The dwarf kind of glares at you and almost falls out of his. Bar stool, and then kind of slowly looks over to the barkeep. Says, "Another beer," and uh, he he's starting to look worried. All right, next round, roll it up. All right. <laughs> oh, hey! It's a save at least. Yeah, that's a save. <clears throat> Oh, crap, I just you know, I minimized everything. Okay. You pass. The elf falls out of his seat. He's done. He is unconscious. He doesn't even, <laughs> even finish his beer. The dwarf finishes his beer. Um, Vase, really sorry to interrupt, my dude. Um, our cameras have stopped in your stream. Oh, they did? Yeah. It's not a very yeah. flattering picture of me either. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Sorry. Go on. No, thanks for letting me know. You're looking no really worries. lovingly at face of in the all. <laughs> yeah. <it's not> all. <laughs> um. Let's see. Um. So the dwarf finishes his beer, and uh, he, he's looking. He's trying to look kind of stoic, and he starts rocking back and forth a little bit, and 
Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I should have stuck to <laughs> what? <laughs> How many of you are there? Any f three? And three is not freaking fair. I need it. I need. And his voice trails off, and his eyes cross, and uh, he not so much as falls over as he loses his structural integrity and kind of sinks and just kind of rolls onto the floor. Echo. <laughs> maintaining consciousness, but you are pretty shit-faced. But the yeah. entire bar erupts in excitement and joy that you uh. managed to beat this dwarf in this <laughs> drinking contest that no one thought you were going to be. People have lost so much money because there was bets going around all, all around the bar as to Heather, whoever was going to win. And uh, do, do, Did I take a bet that Echo would win? You would have had to tell me that beforehand. That's cheating. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you didn't think they were taking bets. Uh, you could ask. Uh, yeah. People were gathered and cheering <laughs> this unlikely. So elf. basically, anytime anyone's gathered, just ask if there's a bet. Okay. Oh, no, you can always ask for anything as well to see if something's happening. Um, I can't, I can't believe that actually happened. Uh, that dwarf was not rolling horribly at all, and then his last three rolls, he rolled not higher than a six. So, uh, you just inherited 95 gold. Jesus. Woo! Ooh, damn. Oh you have a fortune now. Yeah, you were, you Go were for that. sitting pretty. Although, you are pretty well toasted right now. All right, yeah. I don't know how to add this up, so calculator. 95, jeez. Actually, wait, that's wrong. Because you lost. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <laughs> you had two gold, so you have 97 gold. Because you had to put money in the pot. Jeez. Uh... I want to, uh, I'm going to roll active perception, because I know... I just want to make sure she gets her money and she doesn't get it stolen, so I want active perception up. Oh, so like someone... Am I stolen you mean from your shoe? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> keep an eye on what's going on over there. Okay. Well that's nice of you. Look at this <laughs> being a good Samaritan yeah, you you have a, <clears throat> you you haven't drank in a while, you had one beer, I think. And uh you're you're keeping a watchful eye open on this this little elf friend that you have this <clears throat> little acquaintance going on here. <laughs> At least I can say I achieved something today <laughs> with my day. Yeah, that was oh, days. <laughs> How much is a room? Does the tavern have any rooms? Room prices? Yeah. Uh, it's depending on the suite and stuff. Um, crap. What's there's a page in the tavern on how much a room is. I think it's like 10 gold a night or something. It should be pretty cheap. Yeah, it's under adventuring in the player's handbook. I believe it's player's handbook. I think so too. <coughs> I need another monitor so I can have books and stuff open. I got you. You got it? You find it? I'll find it. Yeah, shortly. I need a third monitor. I wonder if there's, um, I can look at <clears> that. kind of cool. Three monitor gang, uh, flex. And stay, uh, what, what, we're, we're in a comfortable, um, area, comfortable lodging. Yeah. Um, comfortable would be eight silver. Oh, that's cheap as hell. Wealthy would be two, two gold, aristocratic would be four gold. Alright. So. Okay. <clears throat> we're asking about it, Panko. Did you want to stay the night or something? I figured I would get a room in the tavern and then invite my other three 
somewhat acquaintances if they would like to lodge there. In the inn? In the inn, for free. Well... Well, you'll pay for I just kind of look over towards them and just kind of like shrug my shoulders in like agreeance. I just, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> well, I appreciate I the like offer, but I... At the moment. <laughs> I prefer the wilderness. I'm quick by out real quick. Okay. Um, all right. So outside of character, real quick, uh, Miss and Serial, I know it's getting late for you guys. Normally, I was planning on ending something like right about here. If you guys need to go to sleep, how do you, how do you guys feel? Well, it's only at 11 p.m. Is it? I thought it was. No, late. it's 11 it's p.m. It's 11. Not yet. It's 11. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind staying on a bit more. I could take a break for a cup. I could do with a cup of break. That's what I needed to yeah, do. Yeah, if we could a have a quick break to make a cup of tea, cup of coffee, yeah. that would be a good five minute break, maybe, and then come back. That'd be good. You know, I, I need tea to live. Yeah. 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 Right. I do yeah. too. Well, Mine's <laughs> the American <laughs> Five minutes to come up with something else because those were both my things that I had planned. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. Well, I need to go so Let's see where it goes. Alright, let's take a five minute break. Life of it, the end, my dude. We'll come back and then uh, we'll continue Perfect. on. You, you, you guys just. Sh like, how, how late do you. What's the latest you guys want to go? That's my question. Well, to be honest with you, I well, I I don't really sleep anyway, as you know, Vasive. Uh, so I'm up for however late Echo is willing to stay up for. Basically. What about you? Well, yeah, I can't. I suppose I could just call you. Whatever. Okay. I, if you guys have obligations, you know, feel free to shout. Um, but yeah. Like I said, that was what I had planned for today. Uh, if you guys want to keep going, maybe we can uh, we'll do something a little more uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I might need to pop off after midnight because I need to be up in the morning for a little one, that's all. Okay. Uh, we, 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 we can do another hour then. Yeah. yeah. Another hour then. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, let's all take a fiver and uh, get ready cool. and we'll be back in about five. Okay, awesome. In a sec. Okay, we're back. We're fixed. We should be good to go. All right. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, we left off. Pancock was looking for uh, some lodging, and uh, if uh, what kind of uh, if people wanted to stay in as well. Um, the festival is starting to die down, and it is starting to get uh, late at night. Uh, last call. Well, will be called here very shortly. Uh, most of the people in the inn have cleared out. There are a couple uh, other... Oops, I don't know why they're not visible. Um, I, get, I don't know, what do you call them? Uh, other people? In patrons? The, uh, yeah, patrons, sure. In uh, the bar. We'll show them. And uh, they're all drinking together. There's a way to spin them. There you go. Fun. Uh, you guys can spin your character as, as needed. Uh, I can't see the map. Oh, you can't. Hold on, on my screen. No. Sure. Can you see it now? Oh, yeah, me neither. Hey, there we go. Now I can see it. Okay. Cool. Um. So yeah, uh, I kind of just put oh, yeah, the characters in where I kind of thought they were at. Um, where we left off. Rokax was sitting in the corner, uh, observing the drinking competition going by about. Lucio was sulking next to Rokax uh, that he couldn't steal stuff. Uh, uh, Echo is uh, sitting at the bar because uh, she's trying to not fall over after all her drinks. And Pancog was talking to a barmaid about uh, potential lodging. So I kind of just put you guys there thinking that's kind of where you'd want to be. And uh, Yeah, it's about right. The evening yeah. is kind of coming to a close. Um... Like I said, everyone's been clearing out. The festival is starting to die down. We should probably get some uh, mute uh, sounds here, which I always forget. How about a... There you go. Perfect. Quiet tavern. Cool. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you guys will say um, the bar, uh, the barmaid, 
uh, hooked you guys up with some free food for, uh, you know, Rokax helping her up when uh, she got knocked over and taking care of the barbarian and just, you know, making sure nothing else went down in the uh, in the bar for the rest of the night. Um, so, yeah, as you can hear, that there's a little bit of campfire in the middle of the room. Or a fire pit, rather. It's, it's getting nice and cozy, and things are starting to wind down. However, or actually, no, not however. Um, so, I'm assuming uh, right now would be a time that if you guys were hanging out, you guys could be swapping stories with each other. Because a couple hours has passed. Okay, well, I'm still kind of just sitting in my corner <clears throat> uh, where I am right now. Just kind of sitting there, kind of moody, just there. Yeah, moody. Kind of looking over towards the others. Just as a little moody boy, exactly. Because, uh, you know, Lushu has some serious trust issues. Um, so he doesn't like to get too close to people. First person. Um... No, because I, I don't know. I was talking like first person. He's not saying anything at all. He's just sitting there, oh, you, like, just sitting there. Um, and I'm explaining why he's just sitting there. Like, he finds it really hard, even though he's met these people and even though they helped him, uh, he's still a bit dubious um, on whether or not to trust them with who he really is. Um, because he comes from a long line of thieves, uh, he doesn't feel like now's the right time to tell them that. So he just kind of sits there waiting for them to do tell them who he who they are sorry uh and then maybe ease them into who he is from there okay kind of, kind of like judge their judgment by who they are sort of thing okay sounds <clears throat> we don't need that um okay <laughs> so that's what lucio's doing all right I'd like mm -hmm. to invite uh, Echo and Pancog to come join us at the table. Okay. Maybe we maybe we move yeah. maybe we move to a maybe we're sitting over yeah, here. Yeah, we could yes yeah, over this table. Yeah. Yeah. So I accept our offer to go and chill at the table. Sweet. So Echo, you still you still uh pretty drunk there? Uh, How long uh, has it been? I, I, I'm still, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I am still feeling it. I have not had a beer since, and uh, I, 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 I <laughs> yeah, just completely trashed. Ah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweetie, it might be better if you just stop talking at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there food here? Do they do food? <laughs> yeah, the, the barmaid uh, fed you guys. Already? Oh, I'm still nice hungry. Nice full bed. What are you all doing out here? What brings you here? Well, I'm, uh, I'm always just wandering looking for work, really all i do i was training in the surrounding forestry right what, what is surrounding the uh the city face of well the city is massive so um at the far east you have uh, actually oceans and ports um i'd say uh to the south you or the southwest or, or sorry to the west is the ports and uh, ocean to the southeast is more uh, foresty area, and uh, I would say directly northeast is uh, where you start getting into a little bit of mountainy terrain. And directly south, if you go uh, quite a bit, you'll start running into some uh, desert area. I was practicing my archery and survival skills in the forest. And I happen to require some upgrades on my leather as it had gotten ripped while practicing. And then I get swept into the excitement of the festival. While I was also looking for potential bed partner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and I just kind of look up at everyone and just say, just kind of like mysteriously, just take a sip of my beer, put it back down without even looking at them, just kind of looking towards the table and just say, I'm looking for answers. And that's it. Just, I'm looking for answers. Being all mysterious. Looking for answers to what? Uh, I look towards um, Pancog and say, maybe one day I'll tell you, but for tonight, let's drink. And then I just raise my raise my tankard up as if to like cheers her um, and the others, as in like a job well done for the attempted conning uh, of the <laughs> of, of the Lord and the uh, successful uh, evacuation of the barbarian. Yeah, and you're saving my butt. Yeah, it's like kind of swayed a conversation away from it a little bit. Another beer? Are you kidding? Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Yep. It's a festival. Might as well get into the sphere, I suppose. <laughs> I just kind of look up at uh, Rokex and say. You look like a big guy. How much action have you... Kind of testing to see how much of a warrior he is. As the only other guy there, you know, Lucy's a little bit threatened by him. He's a big guy, so he's just like, how much action do you see? Oh, I, you know, I, I can get around. I mean, I've uh, been in my fair share of fights and uh, always looking for another one. I kind of give him like a half smile as if to be like, I like that answer. <laughs> like, just a little bit of a mm, sort of thing. I take another sip of beer. Um, How far into the city are we? Like, I mean, are we near the edge? Or are we deep in the middle? Or Oh, like the, this tavern? Uh, no. I know, I mean of the, of the city in general. How, how deep and where are we located in it? I'd say uh, the nearest gate to exit the city is probably a 20 or 30 minute walk. Okay. All right. Um, well, looks getting getting pretty late here. I'm going to turn in and see if I can't find some uh, some work tomorrow. So I also <clears throat> go to the the room that I rented for the night. Okay. Yeah, I need sleep. That and and I'm good. going to probably ask Echo if she would like to bunk in the room to make sure she doesn't like get robbed of all the gold she won from her drinking contest. Echo, what? How does that sound to you? It might be wise. It might okay. be very wise. So I then walk up to her and I put her arm around my shoulder as she is still kind of woozy. And what the is the rooms upstairs? Yeah, they'd be going upstairs. Okay, so I we meander upstairs then. Okay. And um what Lushu does is Lushu uh, even though he was invited um, to share the room um, before, he doesn't feel like he can trust anyone at all yet. So he kind of moves up and he sits in this corner of the bar. So he's his back's against the wall. He can see everything around him. Um, and that's where he decides to like spend the night uh, for as long as he can do. Um, and then maybe wander off outside to okay. be to be alone uh, for before now. Before any of that actually happens, you guys are all sitting at the table still. You're all just, just discussing what is uh what your plans are for the rest of the night. A commotion okay. breaks out on the table uh, to the west of you. Uh, one of the the villagers gets up, throws his Hands down, it's like, you think you're better than me? And he shoves his, uh, you would assume, to be a drinking partner. And uh, a brawl breaks out. And these guys are tussling and fighting each other. And all of a sudden, the barmaid runs over and tries to interject to try to stop the fight and probably get them to leave. 
but one of the guys in a wind-up swing to take out one of the other drinking partners elbows the barmaiden in the teeth and she falls over and she, she lands on the ground you know nose bleeding and she's stop it stop it please just leave uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get up and um shout with my uh weapons drawn um that that's enough and it's time to leave i'm gonna join hopefully, join intimi that. hopefully intimidating them so i'm gonna roll intimidation i also stand up Along with Ooh, Lucio. I'm nice gonna roll. roll intimidation with that then. Nice roll. Um I'm also gonna stand up, draw my weapons, so I guess I'll roll intimidation also. Uh it's coming. Oh echo. <laughs> oh me <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're not very threatening, no, Rokex is a big <laughs> like, like seven foot eight oh. guy who's just oh, huge. I call the like police. <laughs> You're barely more intimidating than a very drunk elf. <laughs> oh damn it! You tonight. All right, so I'll just say you'll jump up in a unified like intimidation stance of like the fuck. Hey, hey, I got an eighteen. Yeah. Well, intimidation as your global. Uh, what the fuck? And uh, one of them turns and like, and they're drunk. They don't give a shit. They're ready to fight. They're ready to throw down. They're just like, yeah. What are you gonna do about it, Molly? <laughs> um stop you. We'll step outside and we'll uh we'll uh I'll show you. Uh let's see. I'm trying to figure out how this works. I always forget. Loop. Oh. Oh yeah. It's time to roll initiative. Wait. Oh my god, you guys are going to destroy these guys. Did you Hang on, did we roll initiative? Yep. Initiative time. Okay. Roll initiative. Initiative. Oops. Fuck. I didn't oh. use that. Oh wait, that was intelligence. Oh, wrong one. Uh, Ignore that, by the way. I think I did the same. I did. <laughs> Where the hell's initiative? Yeah. It's it. on the main it's... screen, and it's right next to your AC. Is not... <laughs> oh, I see. Babe. God damn it! Well, we yeah, did we exactly did. the same. Oh, same time. Mamora, twenty-seven. Ooh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Just updated in my tracker without me doing it. That's dope. Oh, that's awesome. That's Look at that. There are some numbers. All right. Uh, Pretty so good. You guys are at initiative now. And how do I say go? Oh, right here you go. Uh, how do I reset? Because this is wrong. X, rest, initiative, close window, whatever. We're going to skip through this because it's wrong. Because I don't know quite how to do it. It is round one. And, uh, Echo, your first go. Yes. Hold on a minute. We need, um, we need some backup. First go on initiative. We need backup. First go. 100%. First go on initiative or first go on attack? On attack. It's you. Okay. Initiative, right. just, initiative is just the order of how we're attacking. Uh, yeah, who goes first? Got you, got you. Okay, got you. Okay, right. Um, right, I was planning this through before. Um, my favorite weapon is going to be, of course, I'm going to draw my crossbow. Um, and that's got a range of blah, 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 blah. more than enough for this, yeah. <laughs> way more than enough. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is how many people could I hit? Maybe two if I'm lucky. No, it's a bit of an odd angle. Um, yeah, I could probably to... take so you'll want to do yeah. your attack mm. action onto one of the people. Um... Can I move and then attack? Yes. Okay. You can move, attack, and move even. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to move forward to... 
If you're looking for your crossbow, it's on the actions tab at the very bottom right hand side. Just drag that in. Ah, oh, I'm gonna attack this guy. Oop. And then. Also, which one are you attacking? One, two, three, or four? Three. Three, okay. Oh my god, I forgot how to fucking click. So you should be able to just drag your attack action onto the enemy and it'll roll for you. Okay. So where it says main skills, abilities, like on the yep. tabs on the right hand side of your character thing, on the very bottom you've got actions. actions Find which so weapon you, you want to use and then crossbow, drag and then that. And then roll it. Yeah. So drag that over to the thing. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah. There we go. Eight. Eight on three. Uh, um, you need to drag it on top of his head. That work? Uh, cause it should say... Here, let me see. Oops, I'm in the wrong screen. I do. Oh, so okay. So that was exactly what you needed to do. Um, so you missed. Okay, got you. I rolled three. Okay, so next. Hey, so roll it down. It's unfortunate. All right, me. We'll okay the, then. The booze is still uh, hampering your ability to aim correctly. Yep. <laughs> All right, your turn, Lushu. Okay then. So what's the rules about moving diagonally? Does it count as five or ten? Um, every other one is 10. So the first one is 5, okay, then. the second one is 10. In that case, I'm going to go... Because I'm very high in my dexterity and I've got a lot of uh, acrobatic skill, plus 5 as a matter of fact, I'm just going to hop over this table. So 1, 2, 3, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm going to stay here by the bar. Okay. Um, I'm gonna aim towards um, commoner number two with my short bow, um, which I'll roll on him now. Uh, I'm guessing that's a miss. Uh, you rolled your damage. You need to roll hit. Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Uh, you're right. Sorry. Here you go. <laughs> so. Uh, hold on, I gotta fix the life. There we go. Um, it's not saying if you hit. Did you pull it onto his head? Oh. Um, I didn't. That one died somehow. I gotta pull him back. One, two, three. I am. Wait, no, I didn't. How come I can't see the fourth one? There you go. All right. Um, so yeah, drag the... So I drag it onto his head right now, yeah? Yep. Okay, drag it onto the head. There we go. Thanks. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. so now I drag the damage onto his head. Yep. There we go. Oh. Right, so five still okay. Five, five seasons. He's dying. Um, I'm assuming you guys are doing non-lethal damage. Uh, yeah, non-lethal, non-lethal. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm aiming for like arms, shoulders, legs. Yeah, you're just gonna try to incapacitate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Only right. de decapacitate, really. Well, well, they, they, are, haven't, are they? they haven't. They haven't done anything to like you know. Warrant you killing them? Right. A lot. Warrant. They're just being yeah, belligerent exactly. drunks, right? Yeah. They're, they're just being. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. So if I maim them, is that still technically murder? <laughs> if you just paralyze them. N no. I yeah, I mean, just take a limb off. I suppose that would just be, it kind of happened if you really fuck up or something. Yeah. I'm assuming your intent is to not fuck them over. You're just trying to stop them being belligerent and being assholes. Yeah. Are they armed? Kind of like being bouncers. Uh, yeah, they're armed. 
Yeah, they are. Um, with yeah, basic okay. clubs and stuff. Um, okay, so that's your turn. Next, Axter. Uh, Pancog, you're up. Okay. Um, so it's five feet for each square. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I do have an unarmed strike, and I'm trying to add that into the list here. You want to use unarmed? You don't want to use your sword? Well, I get bludgeoning damage with the uh, unarmed strike. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. That's smart. So, give me just a second so I can add that. I want to say this music is making this. <laughs> I'm glad. This is I awesome. don't know if you guys could hear it well enough. Uh, but the little symbol, oh, yeah. the colors by your port, the tokens and stuff, they all mean stuff. Like that gray one obviously means he's dying and he's got a little symbol saying he's unconscious. The other ones are green saying they're healthy. So all that information's there. Why are you in critical condition, Lushu? Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> because I took two damage from the fucking. Barbarian who smacked me up. No, I'll say you're <laughs> fine. Um, well, we had a we had a rest. Yeah, you had a we had a rest. Yeah, four four hours. It was you're a short rest. You're fine. Short rest. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> Finally. Like, why is your color red? Okay, so I'm going to unarm strike okay. the Commodore three. So you gotta drag that attack onto his portrait or his token. <laughs> And you hit him. Now you drag the damage. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Which is what? Um, it should be next to it. Equals plus one your strength modifier. Um, so in your actions, oh yeah, it doesn't. Your damage isn't there. It's one yeah. Four. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm looking at it right here on the actual character sheet okay um plus three damage two um this is just what it says it says instead of using a weapon to make a melee weapon attack you can use an unarmed strike a punch kick headbutt or similar forceful blow none of which count as weapons on a hit an unarmed strike deals bludgeoning damage equal to one plus your strength modifier yeah, so it's just, there's no roll, it's just, uh... Yeah, and my strength is... <laughs> equal to one plus your strength modifier. Oh! Which does work. Oh, that was, you I don't know, it's just... Yeah, your modifier is three oh. plus three. See, if you look on your main page, on the right... That's it. Yeah. That's so your... Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's a save. No, that's your save. It's on your left. It's on the left. Are on the left. Nope. Yeah, it says plus one. That's your modifier. So you. Okay. So it does two damage. Yeah, two damage. Two. Come no, three. My strength modifier. Is... Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And you plus one. Yeah. Two damage. Okay. He's been. So three damage. I want to just go ahead and just headbutt the ever living crap out of this guy to kind of try to <laughs> knock him unconscious. Okay. So you, he lives, but uh, yeah, you you punch him right in the teeth, or you headbutt him like you said. He's oh, now he's ain't, now he's pissed at you. All right, Rokax. Okay, um, I'm going to. Ooh, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh oh. You know the rules for grappling. Uh, it's a counter strength or dex, depending on uh, your choice against their okay. counter strength or dex, depending on my choice. Um. Alright, she's back. So this guy closest to me is has taken heavy damage. This one right here is unconscious, right? Uh, number... They have numbers. Number, number two is unconscious. Yeah, number two is unconscious. 
three has taken damage. The other ones have not. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run over here to this dude and I'm gonna grapple commoner four. I'm gonna rush in at him. I'm gonna jump on top of him and just grab grab him. Okay. So strength. Uh oh. <clears throat> My system is freaking out. Oh. It didn't roll, okay. but I rolled a 15 plus 3. I'm sorry, 18. it disconnected because of storms. You're fine. My, uh. Maybe that's why mine is sitting here spinning. Seems to be the case whenever someone joins in. It freaks out. It's not showing my rolls. I just got a 15 and an 18. If this does not work. Hold on. There's. Okay. Wait, it just came up. It's good now. Yeah, everything was freaking out. Okay. So oh, I see. Sweet. Okay. You're, uh, 18. 18 was my first oh. one, yeah. Is there... Um, am I the only one noticing that Pancog has left the lobby? No, she's back. It says, uh, Oh, okay, good. It just says, in, in the top left, I see Echo, Rokax, and Lucy, but I don't see Pancog, that's all. Oh. Uh, yeah, she might, you have, to claim her, you might have to claim your character. Yeah, it's yeah. still kind of freaking out, so give it a minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries. Oops, the storms. Um, okay, so you rolled grapple. I know somewhere in the game there's a way to say, like, roll a grapple, but I'm just gonna have him roll. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a strength check. And you're doing strength against him? Yeah. No, you know what? I'm Count gonna, I don't, counter strength. Not a... I don't need to calculate it. He fails. Hey, Karchi. <laughs> so he is grappled. Okay. Um. Which I forget what the rules are exactly. I think it means uh, they take a disadvantage or they have to try to break out of your grapple. Uh, how do I? You did it to Commoner Four. Yeah, so I'm on. So I'm, on, I'm on top of him basically, right? Okay, I'm back. But I do not see the uh, the the tavern. I might have to share. You might have to share again. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna add. Grapple. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm doing it. Does it show? Yeah, look, it worked. That's awesome. Hey. hey. That's super cool. All right, I like that. Um, so he's grappled. That would be. Oh, I gotta share the sheet for Hancock. I'm gonna look it up. By the time it gets back to my turn, I should have an answer. That's fine. <coughs> okay. Um, next. Alright. Commoner 4. Well, actually. Commoner 4 is supposed to go right now, but he's grappled. Oh, no. Commoner 1. Sorry. It just zoomed into the wrong guy. Okay. Commoner 1 is going to move can i oh oh cool you can move your character across the grid with the um arrow keys oh that's awesome uh, i was trying to scroll the map and it's not letting me i don't know how to scroll the map oh yeah you can that's awesome. so commoner four or one is gonna try to save his buddy and he's gonna take a swing at rokax <gasps> so I don't have my shield, so I'm at I'm actually at a uh, 16 AC. Uh, so unequip your shield real quick. Let's see. Um. There we go. And can you move your character onto the table instead? Because I can't target you. Where is my guy? Un under underneath four. four. I can't grab him either, dude. Oh wait. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you're you're grappling him. Um and so sure. And then now okay, so your AC is fixed. Cause you're not wearing it. Alright. Let's do attack on you. Yeah, we're good. Roll. 
Ouch. All right, so he hits you. Oof. And then we're gonna. Yeah. All right. Three damage. Boom. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and use second wind. Can you do that as a reaction? Which... Yes, it is a reaction. Oh, you mean uh, you're um, not second wind? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, not second wind. You know which one is <sighs> it? One of these I can do. Yeah. Commoner two is uh, unconscious, why? so I don't know why it's <gasps> making me do that. Oh, oh it's it's a uh, stone and stone endurance. That's, That's it. Great. Stone's endurance. So, um, 1d12 plus 2. And that's how much you negate, right? Yeah. So you negate all the damage? Yeah. Cool. You are fine. Um, uh, commoner 3. Uh, so y your endurance, you kind of just, just laugh and shrug off the damage and, uh, it provokes Commoner 3 to attack you as well. I was actually half tempted that the Commoner 3 was gonna attack me. You might have, but uh, Rogak shrugged off that thing and made him mad. Um, Commoner 3 misses. Commoner 4 is grappled. Did you look that up? Um, yeah. Uh, grappled creature speed is zero. Um, he has to roll to get out of it, right? The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. So I have to be incapacitated. Um, he, I think he can... I think we have to reroll strength check for him to get out would be my assumption, but it doesn't really sit. I think he gets to choose... Oh, man, he just got... His shit stats. This makes sense. So, um... I think if, uh, I mean, m my attempt was to bring him to the ground. Did I actually do that? Is he actually prone? Sure. Uh, but that means you're on the ground. Um, so that, yeah, um, my goal was to be on top of him or whatever, but um, any attacks made against him from ranged have disadvantage, any melee attacks have advantage. Okay. Um... Okay, so he rolled a strength to try to break out of your grapple. Do I need to reroll? Yep. And you destroy him. Bitch. Uh, in terms of the grapple, anyway. So he can't break out. Yeah. Uh, next round. Echo's turn. Okay, right. I'm going to move diagonally across here. I'm going to go for coming of three with my mace attack. So roll that. Oh, you got to drag, drag it on his head, remember. Oh, uh, wrong one. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you missed. Uh, no, all, you wasted all your good rolls during the drinking game. Yeah. Uh, See, I'm still drunk. I think I can't even fight. Your character is drunk. Stum stumbling all over the place. Just count your blessings that you haven't hit your friends on accident. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lushu. Okay, then my turn. All right, then. So, um, Commoner Two is knocked out. Correct. Mm -hmm. Commoner Three. What's going on with him? Uh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Okay. Um, Commoner 4, is he still being grappled? Yep. He is. Okay, then. Uh, in that case, what I'm going to do is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to go behind here. If you, if you go any further, you're going to uh, remove outside of Commoner 2's... Oh, no, he's he's uh, unconscious. Never mind, you're fine. I'm not going after Commoner 2. I'm going for Commoner 1. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is um rather than actually attack the guy i'm gonna draw because i'm behind him and he's already focused on rokex 
Um, I'm actually going to draw my dual daggers and put them both behind his throat and kind of keep that and then shout out loud, stop. As if to this to be like, you know, the first guy, he's knocked out cold. The second guy, he's injured. The third guy, he's in a grapple. And the fourth guy has now got daggers to his throat. I think it's time you guys stop and you leave. So rather than take it any further, um, I try to like threaten it and... Uh, would that be a role for um, persuasion? Wouldn't it be intimidation? It, it might be intimidation, be yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think this should go any further. No one needs to die tonight. They have they haven't they don't deserve to actually die. So I think it could be, I reckon... argue that it could be the one. So Yeah, go for it. Uh, so I can roll perception? Uh, uh sorry look, uh, persuasion, sorry, persuasion. Yeah, or intimidation. Alright, really... I'm gonna roll persuasion because I have um a plus two in that. Twelve. It's not that good, but uh, it's not bad either. It's not bad, no. Fail. Um. Oh. You you said that to them as a group. Oh, I gotta do all of them then. Okay. But remember, Commoner Two oh, is knocked out, so honey. I don't think they should roll. So. Yeah. I'm I... talking to you, honey. <laughs> um. So, the uh, Commoner Four grappled. Obviously, he's like, "Yes, I give. I give up." trying to tap Rokax's arm to let him go. He's saying, uncle, uncle. He was the one that didn't want to start the fight in the first place. Commoner 1 was the one that instigated the situation. Um, so he kind of didn't want to listen in the first place, but when he saw his two buddies, say, like, throw up their hands at, in surrender, he uh, begrudgingly uh, goes along with it. He says, you're not worth my time anyway. Oh, the music is uh, a little too intense now. Um, but essentially, uh, they throw up their hands and uh, s stop their hostilities. How do I... There you go. Okay, at which point I kind of, because I've got my my daggers drawn towards Commoner 1, I look towards Rokax, who, like, you know, I'm presuming is still holding Commoner 4 in the headlock, even though, or grapple, even though they've surrendered. Um, and kind of just, like, nod towards him to let him go um, and say to everyone, okay, guys, I reckon it's time you leave. You've caused enough trouble here. No one needs to get hurt. Um... And kind of like look towards Echo and Pancog for like, you know, some sort of like verification to like agree with me as a group sort of thing. Um, right, you know, it's not worth it. You know, you can drink again. I kind of only just slightly nod while, you know, kind of giving them a slight, very disgruntled like glare. Yeah. Like, I will continue to headbutt you if you don't walk away. <laughs> 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 just head by you to it's the only thing I'll, uh, to knock you out. I'll be I'll be dragging this guy outside and throwing him off the throwing well, him outside before You uh, told me not to like kill him, him or maim him. True, true. Don't true, kill, true. just headbutt. There you go. <laughs> Headbutts only. <laughs> Well, okay, well, you guys uh, ended that far peacefully, more peacefully than I anticipated. Um, the barmaid, uh, during the commotion, she jumped behind the bar and just kind of hunkered down to protect herself. Uh, she did not want to be involved in any part of that. Um, so that she's hanging out there, <clears throat> and as soon as she hears that uh, they have left and the commotion's all uh, done, she kind of creeps up from behind the bar and... You know, has her face or her head covered because she's got a bloody nose. And, uh, she just kind of shakes her head and just like, That's the second time you've helped me out today. She's like, Please, let let me, uh, let me get you some lodging for the night. You did, uh, 
It's all the house. You've done more than enough. Let, let me take you through some rooms. You're more than welcome to stay. All the house. That was hey. to do. Plugging your nose, trying to do a female <laughs> voice. Um, but you guys have some lodging to stay for the night. Awesome. I kind of look towards the barmaid and I, I thank her, and then kind of you know make my way up up the stairs, just going to bed. There we go. I say thank you to the barmaid, and I I reach in my satchel and I, I give her a little bit of tea tree oil for antiseptic reasons, for you know the face, and I give her some clove oil for you know the teeth. And uh, <laughs> tell her to, you know, have a rest. <laughs> and I will also have a rest. Sleep off the, and thank you. the booziness. Oh, God, yes. yes. <laughs> I go up to the barman and I actually help her hold the, her nose and make sure her she stops bleeding eventually. So she doesn't bleed out from her nose. <laughs> You guys are very kind. Um, and and then once she's settled and figured out, I go to my room that I had planned to previously for a long, long rest from all this drama. Cool. Oh, your weird noises is back. Yeah, I know. I'll go ahead and uh, head up to my room and You're actually bid everybody good night. Yeah, well, it's free this time. It's I mean, whatever. Time. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna go out, but <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure uh, Lucio knows that I'm keeping an eye on my, uh, my uh, coin stack <laughs> here. I just kind of like, shoot over a little smile as if to be like, your coin is not safe, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tune. I like this music. This sounds great right now. It's bedtime. That's what that's saying. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds really good. Relaxing. Well, so you guys go. I'm not talking to you, Hippo. Uh, you guys go and observe or each to your own rooms and. Cookie time. Wait, we got cookie times. Hold on. Oh, cereal with cookies. Yeah, get them doggos some treats, dude. Yeah, we'll get them doggos some treats. Hold on. And bumper butt pats. Yeah, I saw that from earlier. And the bumper butt pats. See, drink up for the cookies. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, so you guys lodge out for the night. Uh, Echo sleeps off uh, her booze and hopefully doesn't have a massive hangover in the morning. <laughs> uh, this seems like a great spot for us to reconvene when we have everyone next week. Exactly. 100%, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Luckily, being an elf, you know, you only have a short period of time to recover, so, you know. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> as long as no barbarian is trying to hug you while crying. Right. True. Um, true, 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 true. We, we have the trance ability. It allows us to get a full night's rest in only four hours. It's yep. great. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Man, we had some, we had some very strange interactions tonight. That is for sure. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> it was great, it was awesome. But uh, try to seduce the barbarian, and he ends up crying on me. <laughs> <laughs> try to thief him. Next thing you know, drags me over. What's going that on? Sounds like a, a night out in London, really. It actually does. Yeah, is she right? <laughs> Why does it seem like something I would watch it when, like, Thor Ragnarok with, like, Krog and, and <laughs> Thor? Right. Because <laughs> that interaction with the, uh, us throwing the Barbarian out, for some reason I kept, I kept hearing, get help. Get help? That's funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where, you know, Thor's like, oh, right, then. help my brother! And then tosses Loki at them, and then, like, barrels them over. <laughs> so I guess we're uh, we're calling it here, then, for next week, when everyone's ready? Yeah, hopefully uh, we can actually have a session zero 
four next week. I'm actually and I can being freaked out, but I'm like looking forward. To <laughs> uh, and hopefully, I can get Fragger to look at the stupid microphone and see what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> strange. You're probably gonna have to like, record it because if you can't hear it, uh, you only can hear it when it's coming through. Maybe but I don't know. Um, or you can just watch the VOD and I don't know, find where it was happening. That you know, just watch a three-hour VOD and find out where it was weirding out. Uh, but, <laughs> but it'd be like watching porn, but less fun. Well, what we could do is we could send you some um, some filters. That I use on my mic. It's um, streaming PC, like he streams. And oh, so it shouldn't be a problem then. Yeah. So something. Well, that's the thing is that he's never connected it to Discord before. I had to connect it, so it's all probably wonky. And if I keep messing with it, he's gonna kill me because I messed with his streaming settings. Yeah, you don't want to fuck that up. But like right now, you sound. I already fine. messed with it, so it's like. You sound perfect. So oh, gops with some biddies. We can say that. Sounds fine right now. Yeah. We're not a. Doing active stuff right now, so thank you for the beauties. Um, hey, real quick, I figured out how to change your gold that's under your inventory in your equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna click that, but it won't let me edit it. Yeah, he, he was, yeah, yeah, just type that's... your number. Oh, yeah, you have to, yeah, number. it doesn't show that you really have. Oh, it doesn't show that you're typing. Okay, I get it, I get it. So, nice, next time, in oh, wow. obviously, on the honor system, you know, don't, don't try to fuck people over or yeah, oh, yeah, I see. gold or any of that stuff <laughs> but uh i do have one i do kind of have one um is i change i realized that the uh um weapon that i equipped the mall was two-handed i didn't realize it was two-handed so i switched my stuff on dnd beyond but i cannot figure out how to get it switched out um here on fantasy grounds I wonder if that's um, there's like nothing there's nothing in my item uh warhammer, warhammer? in place of them all let me yeah uh, i'll get that for you real quick uh you have oh a warhammer okay i'm glad that's your cat and not mine <laughs> oh she meows all night Moniki. oh night too, but i was like oh, hoping that i walked past her and he's been sleeping so i was like thank god she's not meowing oh, like that Honestly, three, four, five o'clock in the morning, just meow, meow, meow. She does oh. it for three days straight, all day, no, all isn't night. Isn't that normal for ghost cats, though? Cause... Yeah, but we were, she was sold to us as a boy, uh, muted, and and with an yeah. injection. So you know, it turns out mm, she wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm, mm. It's one of them my, ones. My cat will do that if we don't let him out. Oh, he, always, he always wants to go out as soon as we lay down and we'll try to let him out before we go to bed and he won't go out and then as soon as we lay down in bed it starts well, no, She wants to go <laughs> out but we, we've had her since she was like literally since we could like 12 weeks old and she's never mm -hmm. been outside so <laughs> you know it's a bit of a uh, sort of yeah, moment. Yeah she's a house cat yeah. Yeah that's scary. <laughs> Pancake we is couldn't also keep on him. Uh, but she's been fixed since she was like four months old, so she's never even had any heat or anything. We need to get her fixed now that we know yeah. she's a girl. Yeah. 100%, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, you don't want to sleep like 18 days a day, 18 hours a day. Oh, it's bad. All right, then, guys. Well, anyway, listen. I'm gonna be off anyway because I need to start making dinner for me and Miss Creation. Uh, I'm starving. <laughs> I don't know about her. <laughs> but, um, tonight was amazing, guys. Honestly, it was yeah, real yeah. good fun. I'm really, really looking forward to next week when we get like you know session yes. zero, session one, whatever you want to call yeah. it. I am really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the very odd stories that I can tell my coworkers when I go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to see how Vasif handles us in the next coming weeks. <laughs> Especially because he didn't seem to handle my uh, my uh, yeah. attempt to seduce the barbarian. <laughs> yeah, I saw Vasif's face on stream. He was like, "Wait, hold up." Um, I, I thought that I, was going to be obvious because uh, my player uh, had carnal uh, <laughs> desires. I assumed you knew what that was. <laughs> I understand what it was. It's just 
Oh crap, it's already happening, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. begun We're already. Not oh lord, here she goes, already on it, okay. Uh, well, I'm assuming since we don't have a bard. Do we have a bird? Uh, not right now, no. Then more than likely, my rager is gonna be the epitome of the bard trying to seduce anything. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Which is hilarious, because I'm supposed to be this noble person. So, <laughs> pretty sure I'm just gonna use my rank and my... And my privilege to be like, hey, do you want a bone or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sup, what a way bone. of putting it. Sup, That's want a bone? A horrible thing to do, <laughs> use your privilege to sleep with people. Isn't that, like, super illegal? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I think people have been arrested for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it tells me, so it tells me they have, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think you should roll a performance <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Alright, well, I do hope you guys had fun. Um, I did. I really um, did. I, that was I awesome. your Warhammer and stuff, uh, Rokax, so you're ready for next uh, session. You're probably going to get closed out because I just closed the game. Uh, or the, the session. Yeah, I closed out just that. That was, uh, that was wild. Uh, I didn't know how it was going to go since that was all kind of on the fly. I had some resources to use, so... Um, I look forward to next week and, uh, hopefully we'll catch you. Oh, oh no, Elvin made it up. Sorry. We just had someone pop in right as we're <coughs> ending. I'm so sorry. You made it. Uh, the VOD will be up. So you're more than welcome to hang out and goof off as well. Definitely check it out. Um, but Yuri, yes, we just did a session negative one, uh, since, uh, Birch and Crimson couldn't make it tonight. Uh, we did something. Everything that we did play though is going to be canon. Uh, to the actual campaign. So, which is actually kind of cool is, uh, whatever happens next session, all four of you guys actually have some sort of history now. So, that's kind of yeah. cool. That makes my life a little bit easier. Um, so now I gotta slightly modify session zero on how it's gonna work, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but I'm glad, uh, you guys, uh, tuned in and hung out. I, uh, look forward to playing some more. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more, 100%. more fun in the future. But um, let me know. Also, if you guys have questions about your characters or anything that you want to change, you know, feel free to DM me. Um, you're not completely locked into your system here. Like if you're like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of this skill I have. Can I change it? And you know, I need you to think about what type of animal companion I could have at level three. Oh, I've, I've already been thinking about a duck animals and stuff for you. A squirrel. So, I think there's actually a list in the player's handbook. Um, that yeah, yeah. Any, well. It's any any beast, um, quarter challenge rating or lower, um, and medium sized or smaller. Yep. So there's a there's a good list of them. There you go. Yep. Um, but last one. You you can probably Google that too. That list to see which one you want. Um, but that is kind of more on you on what kind of creature you want. I'm not going to force you to have a creature. Uh, if you have an inclination of a creature and you want, I might be able to be able to provide a situation where you can get one. Uh, same thing for the rest of you. If there's like a magical item that you're looking for, like if you look at the, the handbook and there's some or a skill that you're looking to get or an item or whatever, you know, message me and we might be able to work it into uh the story where you can achieve something you know you, you can't get some super rare wondrous item at level two obviously but yeah you know, if, like pancog like if you're looking for it's really difficult to say your name because i i want to say pancake but pancog <laughs> comes out pancog anyway well it is <laughs> technically translated to pancake yeah um uh, but yeah, just just let me know if there's something that you're striving for. Uh, we can try to. Oh, me for example, in, in my in my backstory, I'm not going to say what it is now, just to keep it a secret for next stream for those who are watching. But um, basically, if you've read my backstory, like that sort of item to be put into the game at a very very late point would be very good. Um, that's what I'm going to say on it. But um, yeah, you'll know what I mean when you read the backstory. Right. And uh, yeah, that's like a very, very late sort of thing. I did forget to, I didn't, I didn't do uh, the 
the proper like beginning of storyline stuff because we're i want everyone here for that but same thing with that when we do introductions you guys can go in a little bit more depth you know keep it under a minute or two uh explaining your history and stuff but that's way everyone else can pet this time catch yeah Sorry. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> this time. <laughs> yeah. You'll be able to explain uh, to the new players and anyone else dropping into chat for the first time. And uh, going forward, we're not going to do it every time. Uh, we might. I might do like a, a recap of a previous session before we actually start uh, for anyone new coming in. But beyond that, it's like you guys go watch the vods, go check YouTube, <laughs> and you'll see it if you're interested, uh, kind of thing. But hell yeah. That was fun. I, I had fun. It was interesting. And there were some crazy shenanigans that definitely happened. Uh, I definitely look forward to next week. Uh, probably same time uh, again. Unfortunately, if you guys don't mind, let's get together 30 minutes before ahead of time because the freaking overlay crap is going to change every week. There's no way to pin it down. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm going to spend some time right now as well to try to make it quicker. I did come up with an idea, but... Uh, it's unfortunately gonna have to do and then uh, hopefully we'll just keep playing but I'm gonna sure. go out now guys all right guys thank you so much for being here have it have great. Great. see you guys next time Bye. Peace. later friendos Tally -ho. See ya. Bye. Yum, 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 yum. oh I, I should probably switch to this mode because <laughs> this his splitness was brilliant there what the heck happened to this did my camera move? I think my camera might have moved when I smacked the table. Yep, the camera moved when I smacked the table. I'm going to have to fix that real quick. Please hold my friends. Hey, we still have the, the sounds going on. Don't need that. Hold on. Jeez, mama. Smack the table again. Oops, I flipped it. Yeah. Where's the flip? I just saw it. There it is. Oh. Mute that. Uh, center. There it is. All right. My dear friends. Uh, let me catch up on chat, too, because I can do that now. Um. Hey. What are you doing, weirdo? Um. Yuri, thanks so much for the bits. Um. Let's see. Elvin Maiden, I'm so sorry that you missed out. Um, if you're still here, hopefully you can tune in next time. We will be playing some... Um, oh, yeah, we got a bunch of pupper butt pats, which you guys can't see because there's no doggo cam. Hi! Get on! Get on! Oh, the butts! You got butt pats from Trindom and from Pancake Mama, so... We can do this double long time. Oh, get him. Get him. Hi. Hi. Hey, thank you for the butt pads. They're my favorites. I mean, besides cookies, but you love them anyways. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Um, I'm glad you had fun, my dude. Uh, yeah, well, can't wait till next week. That's fun. I hope, uh, we're able to get the, uh, everything sorted out. Let's see. Um, same time we're gonna try to shoot for uh so anyone in in chat we're gonna shoot for two o'clock p.m mountain time um just so our friends in the uk uh can get to bed and have dinner and stuff that is a, a, a decent times but you know yes, 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 i know you love them um it's not even near your dinner time jada's freaking out she's very confused but uh thank you guys so much for hanging out uh we hope to keep this up hope you guys had fun uh if you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, we played with a couple of fellow streamers here tonight. We'll give them a, a quick shout out uh, as well, like we did in the beginning. Let's go. Our dear friend, Serial. Uh, he's playing Lushu. Go get, check him out. He's awesome. And uh, XN. There you go. Uh, Miss Creation. That is his wife. Or his missus, rather. And uh, she's uh, starting to stream again. And uh, Pancake, uh, we're going to give uh, Fragger a shout out for you. Uh, since you are using his equipment. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, but our dear friend Fragger, go ahead and check them out as well. 
Um, had a bunch of lovely friends in tonight. Hope you guys go check them out. Uh, if you had fun, uh, do remember to hang out. Hopefully, we'll catch you next time. But uh, more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt a shop, donate to risk if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Indeed. Indeed. In need. There it is. Words. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I am Vasive. This itchy one here is a Jitus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Let's go! Come on!